Recreational Outrage. Makes me want a podcast. Yeah, dude. <laughs> as, we, as we all should. <laughs> yeah, it's like required at this point. I did a lot of uh, shit talking about podcasts yeah. for some reason. I just like I don't know. Like uh, sometimes the the ideas are too flimsy to be a thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. Uh, but yeah, I, I I've needed one for some. <laughs> it's a, I feel like it's a good it's a good muscle. It's a good muscle. Totally. To have. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And they're fun. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, doing them is, like, super fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, f- the friendships you build. Exactly. Yeah. Right? We've definitely met, like, uh, especially early on when we started. Like, I probably would have never, like, already known, like, AJ Finney or fucking John Novosad's done it. And fucking. Yeah. Like, they were just down to come on. So. Yeah. True. <sighs> Even, like, a Jackie Cation. Jackie Cation. We got just someone no shit. Yeah, You're yeah. Jackie Cation on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. so funny. She yeah. is, dude. She was She's so the down shit. to do it. I she I asked her and she was like yes. So, who else did we get on that was kind of surprising? Uh, Quentin Johnson, one of the Quentin funniest Johnson, comics. Dude, we got Denver. Quentin. How do we get Quentin? <laughs> Q- <laughs> Quentin Johnson. QJ. Talk to me, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ali Kareem. We somehow oh, yeah, booked Kareem, that guy. Dude, you know, yeah. Dude. The ego, the living AK. ego himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel I I feel okay, but yeah. it, and then, um, it's on the house. If you feel like we need them, like that's I understand. But I don't think we even have videos or anything like that. No, the TV your TV's broken, huh? Yeah, it was. It's been doing weird, scary stuff. So scary oh. stuff. <laughs> yeah, I kept flashing and doing weird things. What does scary mean? I can turn it on and show you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, some hydration? I got you. <laughs> Check number one, two. Hell yeah. How was your guys drive up here? It's chill. Yeah. Hell yeah. There was, there was uh, one accident that he had already checked uh, on the road, so it wasn't that bad. We just nice. kind of like... <laughs> so what is... Explain to me the... The complaint department. It's like half stand-up show, half fielded complaints okay. from other people. Yeah, and we just bullshit on them. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. It looks like it looks like it's a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's it's been nuts. It's been nuts to see what people, other people put in, a, in an, into a bucket when they right. when, he, when it's anonymous. You know yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Nah. I'm DDing. No, I'm good. Appreciate you. This is the best. Thank you. Do you want water? No, I'm good. All yeah, right. I feel good actually right now. Because we're all out of water. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you gave Jose the last water. Not really. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, could you imagine? Yeah, it's I mean, the yeah. end of that, water right it. then and there. We were just talking and about we that just have to fight over this last bottle. <laughs> we were talking about how the water wars are going to be a whole thing yeah. <laughs> at some point. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure, dude. We have we give California a lot of water, dude. I don't see why. Yeah, for sure. You just gotta take Nestle. We just gotta fight Nestle and right. get mm-hmm. it back. Yeah, let's Is do that it, the dude. same bo- like company that's in charge of the candy? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they're extra evil. Yeah. <laughs> Their CEO thinks that water is not a human right, so they go into the reservoirs of California and various other states, and they take water. Just buy it all. They just no, they don't buy it. They take it and then they just pay the fee. Sick. So, cause, what? Yeah, because they get fined, mm-hmm. so they just pay the fine. They're like, yeah, but now we have all this. St- that's why there's like droughts and shit. They've taken like, oh, because they can thousand. take the hits with all the bank they've got. Yeah, yeah. like it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah every time and they steal like, like hundreds party. of thousands. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking feeds the droughts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crunch bars are responsible for droughts. That's yeah, what you're that's telling right. me. 
That's crazy. That's terrible. We were, when we the whole California's on fire, it'll be crackling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the name of one of their bars? The crackle bar? Crack, crack. I don't think That's so. That's what the crunch bar does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it crackles, yeah. crackles. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> they own a bunch of stuff. They probably own crackle pop. Oh, and all the rest of the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. Anything. Everything's yeah. owned by like six companies. Yeah, anyway. they, yeah they also own Boeing and. <laughs> yeah. Do they really? No, I don't know. Oh, but, I was say. <laughs> but it I sounds be, plausible, I right? You. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Nestle. You know, uh, in Denver, the largest uh, landowner is Denver Water. Really? Like the water company. It's they hard. own more land in Den- because of like the irrigation and because of the reservoirs and all that kind of shit. Tight. Yeah. They yeah. own more land than anybody else. That means it's our land. So that's cool. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, dude. Water. I Makes think sense. it's a right. Yeah. It that's be. right. You, water is a human right. CEO of, I don't know why I'm looking at you. Nestle. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, um, you know, a question I used to ask kids at summer camp was if you, your, your hand can spurt out liquids out of each finger, right? Each finger spurts out a liquid. What is the five liquids? And you get to choose each oh. one. Poison's one. I want <laughs> definitely one. That Which finger? That's important. Uh, I think pinky. <laughs> Poison, yeah. <laughs> All right. I like that. Poison pinky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, don't stink that anywhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> In the wrong spot. <laughs> or like some monster coffee. Yeah, yeah, I can see you digging Irish that. Irish cream monster coffee. Oh, I yeah. can save a lot. Yeah, I, yeah caffeine. Definitely yeah. one of them. Yeah, I need some caffeine. I definitely do like uh, like a, some kind of salsa maybe. like a, Honestly, like the Taco Bell... Uh, fire sauce, Ooh. just Ooh. straight out, the thumb. out of my thumb. Yeah. Hot sauce thumb. <laughs> Do I want sauce? Oh, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've got it covered. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. <laughs> You'd have so many friends if you just had hot oh. sauce on the ready, dude. Just, yeah, on no d- on deck go. constantly. Well, and then what if you? I mean, combat Nestle, and you got water. Water's one for sure. The fu- the fu- the middle finger. Yeah. Fuck you to Nestle. Yeah. I don't know if water would make my top five. What? <laughs> I mean, it's all around. Yeah. Until Nestle comes to town. But. <laughs> what's what's what? what? I think two of them are oat milk. If I'm being honest, with oatmeal. You. <laughs> two of them too. You know. Oh, dual know. oat milk. Yeah. One well. steamed, one. <laughs> Look, I'm not making great choices. You know yeah. what I mean? but <laughs> oat milk's awesome, dude. It, I. Oat milk is the goat milk. That's right. As okay. I say at the coffee shop. That's okay. right. Team it is so good. It is good. But <laughs> Hell yeah. What it's about you, Dylan? Uh, what, what you, what's coming out of your fingers? It's not I too much. Caffeine. The, the Irish coffee monster. Respect. But uh, <laughs> I think I would take water. Honestly, yeah, I, I get it. Either. That's <laughs> If you're not going to take water, take I think I got to take well, it. Well, he has to wait at every bar. Yeah, I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, so I could stop bothering bartenders. Neither do I. That's yeah. the worst feeling. Like you can tell they hate you when you ask for water. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I have heard. You, and don't you tip? You've said yeah. that you've tipped on I tip water. People, yeah. I've, yeah, tipped, I've, water. I've tipped yeah. on water that I've like poured myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like yeah. I know I'm not going to be here other than drinking water. Yeah. I'll just throw two or three bucks up front and just call it a day. You know what I mean? <laughs> the bartenders at Monkey Barrel know my food order though, so I feel like that's probably not good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink, but they're like. Spicy burger? Oh, no. <laughs> no lettuce? Like, oh, no. I need to they, stop eating here. They know the specifications? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's, Hold the vegetables, he yeah. says. No, nah, give me, <laughs> I'll take tomato. Give me some tomatoes and t- uh, onions, you know? Oh, yeah. Hold it is onions. very good. I do love the, the food at Monkey Barrel. Yeah. It's one of the few bars that in town has a good, like, food a also. mic that has good food. Yeah. Because some of them can be pretty rough. Yeah. Dude, uh... Somebody said uh, about Scruffy Murphy's, it's the one bar where the bu- the the beer is warm and the food is cold or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's like Quentin's childhood, so it's probably why he's used to it there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry to bring him up again. <laughs> I know, what's going on? <laughs> Poor guy. We, we, <laughs> some unfinished business, it sounds like. Yeah. Um, we, should, uh, we should intro the... The, the the guests yes i feel like that makes it a real show usually yeah hell yeah well this is recreational outrage yeah my name is dylan Cantor. your name is evan fitzgerald yep two great guests today returning we have jose mccall yeah Hello. hell yeah finally returning it has been a while yeah there's a dinosaur in there. hell yeah oh, we don't even know it knows you're playing 
It was the applause. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good. That's right. And first time on the call, on, on the pod, we got John Bueno, everybody. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Welcome, dude. Hi. Did you give him an applause? Um, no, honestly, I don't think Jose's is over yet. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, have you seen him? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> hell yeah, thanks for coming on, guys. Bro, the, yeah, hell yeah, this is so nice. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to have a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. It has been, um, dude, this whole, I've had a wild, like, week and a half in general. Yeah. It's just been nonstop. You and saw Yin Yang Twins. That was pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of the wildest concerts I've been to. All right. Hell yeah. Tight. It was Yin Yang Twins and Paul Wall um, oh. in a Double Tree Hotel. <laughs> in the ballroom? Yeah. Classy. Or like where they have like the meetings or whatever. People downstairs. were there to party. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It was in, it was in yeah. meeting room C. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really was, dude. <laughs> and like it was so crazy seeing the employees like deal with the crowd that showed up for that kind of concert. Why would they not be at, like, a regular venue? I don't know. It wasn't even on the Ying Yang Twins tour. Probably like, to avoid DUIs. You just walk up to your room. That makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's an immersive experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get to yeah. watch the show, and then you get to sleep with Paul Wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's just where they were staying that night, and they were like, hey, let's just throw a party downstairs. Yeah, that sounds yeah. rad. Yeah. That's cool. It, I mean, it felt that way, too. Yeah. Um, one of the DJs, the music completely cut out, and... Or one of the rappers, and he just kept going without his mic working or anything. And the crowd gave him props, but kept, like, yelling at him, like, dude, it's not working. At least you know that he was rapping there. <laughs> yeah, was, once you're five minutes into that, it's like, all right, we just got to figure out how to fix the song. Yeah, yeah you got to say a cappella or something. You got to acknowledge <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 At least, for like, but he was rapping it still? Oh, yeah. Or was he, like, did it cut off and you realized he wasn't actually rapping? Oh, there was a lot of that, for sure. Yeah. And Laura was... But she felt duped. Oh, yeah. She was like, they're not actually doing all the lyrics? I'm like, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> you think Sit Sideways is being done live? <laughs> it probably could be. <laughs> I don't know, dude. He did He did a great job, actually. Paul Wall crushed. Yeah. And then Ying Yang Twins, dude. Bro. Next level. Yeah. They just did every track they've ever oh. been somewhat associated with. Why not? You know what I mean, yeah. Nice. Greatest hits to her, you know? Yeah. So they like... Whisper, everybody got really quiet for the whisper song. And, oh, it's so good. And then like we had these we had these wristbands to let us in. Because like once you get in, you got like a wristband or whatever. The whole way we even got into the concert was by mocking it on Instagram. And then the organizers messaged us. What the like, rules? We yeah. have extra tickets. <laughs> you just you negged your way into a show. One hundred percent. So what did you that say is about sick. it? Um, in that case, these we were like, can you believe that this is a thing? <laughs> yeah. Or would anybody actually go to this kind of shit? Yeah. And then they were like, well, if you want to. Wow. So, Sick. yeah, we ended up getting like as many passes as we wanted. That's nice. And I went with the funniest crew <laughs> of white ladies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was pretty cool being the one like dude and then just all these ladies behind me. But I don't know if that's the concert you want to be with a bunch of white women at. Why not? Yeah, why are you kidding me? Sounds like the concert for white women. Yeah, yeah for one sure. of the girls took um, uh, the tin foil from the burger yeah. that she had eaten, made herself a grill, and made herself a grill. Of course, that's what you do. <laughs> Yin Yang is fucking Paul Wall, dude. It was pretty tight. Dude. Yeah, that it sounds like fun. Tight. I don't know what you're. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, it sounds like you've never been to a hip hop concert yeah. before. That is true. Those are four white women. <laughs> <laughs> It so was it was lightly. it was in a ballroom, right, or some kind of conference room. Yeah, where was this again? Yeah, the Double Tree. The Double Tree, Hilton. So at least it was a nice one. It wasn't yeah, like big time. Yeah, it wasn't like a Motel Six. <laughs> no, that's what was almost so, like even more surprising was there was like valet. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah. And crazy. then there was people just like, uh, I mean, we took a while to get inside because one of our people go like tripped out on edibles before we even got inside which is hilarious to get like overdosed on thc at a yin yang i mean yeah. all of that just sounds like 2003 yeah <laughs> i didn't even think that was i didn't even think that was possible yeah <laughs> what do you mean they they like had a panic attack yeah yeah um, they needed to sit down fair. yeah they weren't ready to go inside <laughs> it's okay. There's too many walls on this ball. <laughs> They're like, oh, I gotta lay down. Luckily, there are 600 rooms yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I need a bed and a comforter. <laughs> 
Yeah, she. Uh, but she got good, and then we went in and just had a blast. We danced our butts off. And nice. It was very cool. And then uh, every time we had to get in, we had to show in our wristband. So I did like one of these, which felt even yeah, cooler. Yeah. You know, I put yeah. up the fist. And they were like, like, "You're cool. Get in." Part of the culture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did wear really baggy clothes. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you told me not to wear what I was wearing. Did you wear blue or red? <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you go yeah, for? What color were you wearing? Uh, I think it was more blue because I wore my Nuggets shirt. I wore a Nuggets shirt, which actually crushed. There was a lot of Nuggets gear out there. Yeah, respect. And I wore uh, some some baggy jeans. City Pride never a bad move. Yeah. 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 Well, and I bought that at the big like gathering where people got shot that night, so I felt like it kind of had some cred. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's all right. It still, it still has blood on it, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a, it was a fun night. Oh yeah. yeah. Sick. And then I drove out to Minnesota and uh in Minnesota I didn't tell you this but I listened to fucking Prince the whole time, dude. Listen to Prince the whole time. Isn't Prince. that where he's from? Yeah. yeah it sure is. I thought so. But you're not he's not a Prince fan. Oh, was not I did the same thing listening to Bruce Springsteen's Nebraska in Nebraska at one point. Okay. And Bruce Springsteen's not from Nebraska, but I think, yeah, you're like, you're there, you're like, I'm going to try it. And yeah. I, didn't, I didn't care at all. Yeah, I, didn't, I, can, yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't see what he saw. <laughs> I feel like Bruce Springsteen is one of those guys where like at one point in your journey through music, you're like, I feel like I have to try it. And then yeah. once you listen to it, you're like, I don't, this is sucks. I like, you know, <laughs> I, I like, I like like this much of it. You yeah. know what I mean? Barely any, but yeah, yeah absolutely. But I know people that like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think it's just that maybe like anyone born after like 87 just like doesn't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> or like your dad listened to it yeah. and he passed and you're like, oh, it brings you. Yeah. 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 If, if you haven't hang a, put a handkerchief out of your back pocket too. I feel like you have to like feel the vibe of Springsteen. Right. <laughs> like you, you did in New Jersey. Like you did at that Yin Yang Twins show, right? Yeah. I was yeah. Like, yeah. Your you're flying blue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I wore my big Adidas. <laughs> I was looking fresh, dude. I had my bucket hat on. I want to wow. see. I want to see a photo Your of this at some hat. point. Yeah, I, I'm just bummed I didn't take one because I was dripping, oh, dude. That's yeah. what I kept saying. It's like I feel so fresh. Yeah, wow. I had a chain. Damn, I know. I don't you normally wear well. chains. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you were the one with the grill. <laughs> 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 Are you the one that had a panic attack too? <laughs> <laughs> Was there even a Ying Yang twin yeah. show? <laughs> I just got high in a hotel room. <laughs> Why aren't they really rapping? <laughs> oh man. Weed's fun. <laughs> the only time I remember freaking out from a like from weed was because it was a drink. And I remember I drank it all, and I definitely, mm -hmm. I definitely felt like I was having a panic attack. Whoa, yeah, okay. it was crazy. But was I, it, it was probably like two hundred fifty milligrams. That's and considerable. I, yeah. That's a considerable amount of weed. Yeah, and I just downed it all. <laughs> <laughs> and just up a root beer float. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> God know. damn. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I freak out on a ten sometimes. Really? So Yeah. Well, not freak out, but I'm definitely like, I'm not going anywhere for the rest That's of the night. Place. I mean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in high school and hitting a bong for the first time, and I couldn't finish the hit. And I was like, "Oh no, what's yeah. gonna happen?" Was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. was my breathing hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember in my early days, I got caught, and it was by my uh, like a family member, and she like was like, "Don't worry, I'm cool. Let me have some." And I was like, "All right, this is gonna be cool." I'm like, "I'm fucking so stoned. I'm like, this is gonna go all right." <laughs> And I let her take a hit. She started falling backwards, and she just <laughs> fell all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, this all just went really bad. <laughs> I don't know if what? I imagined this or holy shit. Yeah. So what was the outcome of that? Oh, the they didn't smoke weed with me anymore. I would I wouldn't <laughs> give it to them. I was like, you're, you're not, you don't know what to do. <laughs> what are you doing? Were they one hit in? Yeah, it was that one big rip. And they just fucking. And it wasn't even like I mean, <laughs> every, it was just yeah. They were watching falling them in slow fall motion backwards. in their mind. <laughs> <laughs> they just knocked. They just passed out. Yeah, that's crazy. I had my friends over too, and they were all like, "That's not cool. <laughs> no. That is not how we like to hang." Dude, yeah. I remember the first time. <laughs> the first time I realized my friends smoked weed with their parents. It was Whoa. it was crazy, dude, because we would always smoke in their in like their parents' shed, and then one day their mom just like. 
tore open the door while we were all smoking and I fucking hid the bong behind my back, dude. <laughs> all dumb. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, nah, it's cool. She's, she smokes. And I was like, oh, this is really, this is weird. They're like, you're not supposed <laughs> to do this. Like, we're just sitting in the shed with his mom. This is not what good. moms do. It's not good mom behavior. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Later, everybody got hand stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hand stuff, mom. I'd rather you do it here. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> Your mom's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> there are those cases where, like, the cool moms get arrested. You ever seen yeah. those? Oh, yeah. Like, That's cool teachers. She got all those 15-year-olds drunk. Like, yeah. <laughs> fucking why? They do make it seem like she did it as if the 15-year-olds weren't, like, hyped to get drunk. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they weren't. Uh, I mean, when I had teenagers at my house last week, they wanted to drink. I... Just That's kidding. crazy. You're like, they were drunk as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were there against their will. They brought it. <laughs> I didn't even give it to them. They brought no, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't even drink liquor. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, the amount of high school kids that had liquor when I was growing up, yeah. it's like a oh. uh, cool mom. Like, this kid got it fucking. My friends yeah. drank on the way to school. Yeah. So totally. Yeah. 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 In I a water it. bottle, they hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I did it with uh, orange juice. Because you can put like vodka and stuff in there. And Classy. Just clear. Yeah. 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 Screw, screwdrivers in mm-hmm. 12th grade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was freshman year of high school. My friends were getting trashed. That's not good. Going to class. Yeah. Dang. Shooters are a big thing in my school. Really? Yeah. Okay. Kids are just walking yeah. out with like, you know, <laughs> like Pokemon cards yep, trading the them. You know what I mean? The incels. <laughs> no, I wish. It was the cool kids, man. Uh, the cool kids are never shooters. But um, oh, shooters were big. That was, that I was gotcha. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, that's <was> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when you said shooters in school, I mean, yeah, no, no you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you win. I was just like, incels weren't a thing yet. They were still calling them goths and stuff. Yeah. True. Yeah. Those were just Dragon Ball Z fans. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Those, were, those were the Marilyn Manson kids. Yeah, yeah that's I mean. better. Marilyn Manson fans. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember them. They were like the goth kids that South Park made fun of. Yeah. Right. Precisely. I learned a lot about people through South Park. <laughs> <laughs> that not might not lie. be the best education <laughs> for <laughs> learning about. Some of them are fat. Some of them are Canadians. <laughs> it's probably better than the Florida education he grew up with, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Were you educated uh, on a boat in Florida, probably? Or? <laughs> no, that would have been so cool, though. A yacht degree? Yeah, dude. Um, no, I uh, <laughs> I uh, went to mostly regular schools. My media, my middle school closed down. It was just really bad. Um, nice. And there was like bombs and stuff there, so they there was bombs put the kibosh and stuff on there. that one. Yeah. So, what, you guys just didn't, you guys were just done with school after that, or what? (laughs) (laughs) You're released. Yeah. That's the secret to ending schools. It was your diploma. What happened? Did you go to Irish school? Um, No, there was, uh, yeah, they just closed it and moved everybody to other schools. Okay. It became a giant place for, like, I think, pregnant women. Hmm. Yeah, I think pregnant Giant women. Giant place for pregnant women. <laughs> I think pregnant women took it over. I could like, be wrong. Like a fight club? or What, what, <laughs> yes. what were they doing there? They uh, like take classes and stuff, I uh, think. Uh, yeah, because it's oh, like yeah. got classrooms, you know? Right. But when I was there, dude, like we'd get like bootleg versions of DVDs uh, from like the, the principal oh, yeah. would be putting this on. Because the principal oh. had to watch us after school because... The daycare people just quit all the time. They so the principal was like, I got it. Yeah, I, I mean, he was the only one left. Wow. It was crazy. It was a bad place. He's, like, he's like selling everybody cigarettes. <laughs> like the, yeah. Lucy's, you know what I mean? And he had like a trench coat. Fake DVDs, dude. It was tight. Yeah, that's dope. We did. We watched. Um, I remember watching I Know What You Did last summer. Um, and, and With your principal. With Korean subtitles. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was weird because you see the camera move, like, as it's recording in the theater. Kind of like. Yeah, people get up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, this isn't how movies normally look. Yeah. But it was before I knew what was going You know, I didn't yeah. know what it was. I was just like, this is a bad. What LimeWire <laughs> website did you download this from, dude? This is terrible. Yeah. So, wow. Rip Harley. I feel like every once in a while you reveal a little bit about your past that no one knew before. That's a crazy thing you just said about your middle school. It's true, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Like, uh, it's like there's bombs and the principal was, you know, selling us bootleg DVDs. And he would just chill with us after school because there's no babysitters. So it's like a, uh, yeah. what? A, a Facebook group that we 
that people will post mug shots of because the all of our no just oh. the, all of the students just like all of my friends have been in jail nonstop from that school wow it's Hell not yeah. yeah it's like a like a that's the yearbook is <laughs> <the mugshot. laughs> wow. that would be cool to do actually <laughs> Yeah, that was a wild little place. But I, my dad, it was so funny. He didn't want me to go there either. And I, my just my my reasoning was like, but my friends are there. Mm. <laughs> and he's like, it's really bad though. You're like around a lot of violence. Yeah, it <laughs> but sounds my like friends it. are there. Were there actually bombs there? Yeah, yeah. I saw him go off. Like I had one of them go off while I was outside. What the? Fuck? And like the police officer drew Whoa. his gun and everything because there's cops all the time there. And like, um, was it a mad kid or something? Did they figure it out? Or? No, I think they were actually a little more creative. They made a, a bomb out of a Gatorade bottle. That one, and like a dry ice bomb. I don't know. Maybe because we had those in our middle school. This like teacher at the end of the year, he had a see. He had a bombs are pretty popular. He had yeah. He <laughs> especially bomb, in middle school bombs are he, in. yeah. He yeah. was kind of shitty. And then they like <laughs> <laughs> they like triggered his PTSD with this like dry ice yeah. bomb. They threw in a garbage can next oh, to him while he was no. leaving. He was like a Vietnam vet. <laughs> yeah, and they like they like banned like all this shit the next year. From oh, no, yeah. no bombs in school yeah. anymore. <laughs> no more dr- no dry ice and Mountain Dew or whatever the fuck you make it out of. Damn. Yeah, you can mix some Dang. chemicals and make some cool shit. Yeah, is that like a in the curriculum in Florida? <laughs> How to make a pipe bomb? It's, it's, it's that wording. You can make some cool shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's a cool shit class. Yeah, where'd you grow up in Florida? Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah, right now I have a toothache, and I'm worried that like that means there's trouble in Tampa. Oh no! Like it's like a tingling kind of thing. Yeah, um, a tingling for Tampa. Yeah. Wow. I think there's trouble afoot, but there's always something going on there, so it hurts a lot. <laughs> 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 it is crazy. It's been hurting this week really bad, and I, it's like rearranging my whole mouth. I, I have a whole bit about an extra tooth, and I have an extra tooth. You don't have an extra tooth. You have wisdom teeth. I have an extra one, too. Okay. Like, the doc, that whole bit is based in reality. You have the oh. wisest tooth. Yeah, the... the yeah. <laughs> An elder tooth. Yeah. The, yeah. the supreme tooth. Yeah. <laughs> it costs more. <laughs> 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 yeah, I do gotta get... I gotta get something going on, because if I can feel my whole mouth rearranging yeah, with these teeth good. right now... Teeth pain is the worst. Yeah. yeah. I, had, I had I had just yanked one like a dog. You know what I mean? Not Wait. me personally, but I went in and just like, just take it out. I can't, I can't afford whatever you're going to do. Just, yeah. I'll live with that. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I, can't, I can't even tell which one. Did. Yeah, oh, that's my plan. It's in the back. If something goes, I'm nice. like, just fucking. Take mm-hmm. it out? Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. I've never even had a cavity. I hadn't gone to the dentist in like seven years. And when I went there, like no cavities, I was like, holy shit, cool. Like I <laughs> avoided. <laughs> That's like um, not getting jury duty yeah. for a decade. That's crazy. Damn. Is like, Have you gotten jury duty ever? One time. Okay. One time I got asked. I thought it was pretty cool. Jury duty. Did you I got to, dismissed. So yeah. Yes, so did I. I got that makes it off. cool when you don't have to do yeah. anything. You yeah. have to listen to like a month of murder details. That's probably not. No, Laura so got jury like duty. She almost got selected for. Do you remember the BLM protests when the person hit, like, ran over the person yeah. here mm-hmm. in Denver? She almost was on that thing. She got like dismissed at the very last. She was like, oh, blue, "Blue lives matter." And they're like, yeah. get her off. <laughs> You're from which state? Florida. Oh, yeah. no, sorry. <laughs> That's one of our number one <laughs> no nos. <laughs> you ever been called up for uh, jury duty? Yeah, but I got dismissed. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like, you know, like when you go to Disney and or any of those theme parks and you watch the videos of like before you take the rides and stuff like that. That's what it felt like is they're like, you know. Yeah, it is kind of like a judicial <coughs> system. You give like a little tour. For. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you all sit together and you watch the video. and It was kind of cool. And then I thought it was weird when at the end they were like, and someday you might be lucky enough to have a jury of your peers. And it's like, nobody's lucky in court. Nobody's yeah, like there actually, thinking, yeah. thank God I've got 12 people judging my yeah, and next well, 10 years. And then you see the people are, that you're with and you're like, yeah, I want these fucking people yeah. <laughs> deciding <laughs> stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> it could be better than just one like 80 year old guy with Alzheimer's deciding your fate though. Oh, true. Joe yeah. Biden. I mean, you said it. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hot pod take. Could you yeah, imagine right. if he was making decisions for everybody as president and he just had to <laughs> decide well, everything as court master? 
We'd all be touching more, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, we would be <laughs> smelling each other a little bit more often. I like that. Yeah. Smell, I, I bet people smell better. Yeah. yeah. If, if Joe Biden's making decisions around here. That's true. There's that lady who was trying to give a speech, and they're like, this is a yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The she's so out, Feinstein. Of yeah, oh, yeah. She's so out of it. Yeah. She's yeah. like, why are we giving them $100 billion to just just say I? Like, <laughs> oh, I. Like, yeah. Okay, this, that's not legal. Yeah. But okay. We're that's just days crazy. away from one of them just, she, like, having a soup order. You know what yeah, I mean? It just reminds like, me of the governor in Blazing Saddles, how, like, the – the guy in charge of the town or whatever is just like Le Petime. He's just like, just sign this. Go yeah. ahead. And he's like, okay, well, this is the greatest bill that's ever been existed. Yeah. <laughs> like, did you see Mitch McConnell just like, oh, free. yeah. He had like just a glitch. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. And he just stood there. I was like, like, oh, that witchcraft is working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he glitched. <laughs> it looked like it, dude. That's no good. He yeah. Just, yeah, he just like shorted out. Do we think he's one of the aliens? He had a mini stroke is the theory. but yeah. Like an absentee oh. seizure or something like that. I love the strokes. The strokes, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I've been that high before where I've been like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, imagine if you're high and you found out aliens are real that day. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Yeah. You haven't had feeling in your hands too. for five years? Mitch McConnell? Yeah. Why Doesn't not? he have the weird hands? Does he? Does he, weird hands? Does he have like purple hands? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Does he have purple hands? Yeah. I yeah, he so. had those like weird purple hands. Like the heart problem were... hand or whatever they say yeah. it's called. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like once you have purple. I know way too much about his hands. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. But when, I feel like once you have purple hands due to heart disease, maybe you shouldn't be able, allowed to make decisions. Make decisions. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, if you can't govern your own hands. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's time to retire, Mitch. <laughs> I know this country like I know the back of my. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have some questions that we like to ask uh, our guests. We got some like hot seat questions. Uh -oh. um, the questions are timed, so oh. just keep that in mind. Do um, first, uh, Jose. Uh, whoa, what? Is the last thing that you've stolen? Probably a pen from somewhere. Yeah, I I am also pretty bad about that. Yeah, I'm probably walked off with a pen. By yeah, so like whoops. Oh, if it's a good pen, I steal it on purpose too, though. Okay, I'm not afraid. Okay, to I me, mean, like this is the way it glides. If I sign my name with a waiter or waitress's pen, and if I have an extra, I'll take out a shitty bic and I'll replace it, and then take the good one. So that way they're not fucked, but that's right. But that's you, not bad. you're on top still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking out with a good pen. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I love a good pen. I feel like jokes are better. I've Whoa. done that exact right. maneuver before. <laughs> before I feel yeah, like, yeah you're like, <laughs> like if you manage to get like a comedy works pen, you're like this. Thing. Oh, oh, I, I, I have, <laughs> I have, I have Jose's comedy works pen <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The I'll, I'll make sure you get it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bold uh, pen, bold statements. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't What's know. A lot of these are stole? missing, huh? What? What's the last yeah. thing you stole? What's the last thing I've stolen? Yeah. Um, I definitely steal a lot from work. Maybe I shouldn't admit that, but yeah, it's probably not. I take at least a cold Someone brew every day. Yeah, redacted. Yeah. <laughs> You're not on camera. It's fine. I think that's a part of working at a coffee shop or a food place. You just get extra food yep. or whatever the stuff is that's that's there. tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's how at least every place I've worked in the past. So I take a cold brew every night. Nice. Boom. That's tight. Um, off the top. Yeah, yeah. I'll say it's spilled. <laughs> Just All right, John. Give me your give me your top five hip hop producers. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> this this is timed. This yeah. is what, yeah. what a horrible we thing. Just, I, don't, I don't know who's timing it or what the okay. timer is. Um, <laughs> in no particular order. Yeah, I get that. Uh, let's go, Madlib. Yeah, the legend. Uh, let's go, DJ Premier. Okay. Let's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't love him politically, but Pete Rock is such a big part of the culture. What, what, what is his political beliefs? Oh, he, he just, he's just very kind of, uh, I think he's kind of anti trans. Oh, and, really? I yeah. Didn't know that. Which, uh, which is real a heartbreaker. You know, yeah. he's just an older cat and that's what it is sometimes. He seems to talk shit about a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of a negative dude, too, yeah. you know. 
Uh, it's three. <laughs> yeah. I haven't said the one everybody always n- mentions yeah. yet. Um, Timberland. Timberland. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a Jazzy that's Jeff. <laughs> yeah, bro, I mean, I wouldn't throw him on this list, but Jazzy Jeff is the shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll say Jay Dilla. Like everybody says of Jay course. Dilla. Uh, just he's amazing, you know? And. I think knowledge. Knowledge is dope. Knowledge. Who's a new, you know, definitely a newer edition, but Jesus Christ. The stuff he does with uh, Anderson Park is amazing. Bro. Yeah. The, that, that yes lot and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Oof. Man. And there's uh, 15, 20 of them I missed. I'm sure that I'll yeah. be upset about later, but that's okay. I think we're pretty good about that list. <laughs> pretty much. So Mad Lib, I would have on mine. Uh, Dilla would, I would have on mine. Sure. Uh, you said Pete Rock. Knowledge and who else? Premier, oh, DJ Premier, Premier yeah, yeah. Premier, I would have on mine, and then I think I would go Exile. Exile's a shit too. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, fuck. Exile's fucking. Yeah, it is hard, dude. Maybe RZA. Right. See, and RZA's wonderful, yeah. right? But I mean, some that of might the stuff's more nostalgia. Not, yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's he's an era for sure. Mm-hmm. Thousand percent. Yeah. It's a great list. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fucking nice. exile. Yeah. Exile. Blue and exile. Bro. I don't know it. So good, dude. Yeah. Below the heavens. One of my favorite. Uh, I love that album. Yeah. Yeah. Such is a good album. Like egg, exile egg? or X. Exile. Oh. Like that's you're in exile. Cool. Oh. I thought oh. it was eggs. Sorry, dude. Exile. Exile. Like, you know, then the in the dairy section. The yeah. Isle of Eggs. Oh, exile. Yeah, that's what I. I mean, I was like, that sounds really cool. It's like yeah. a farmer. It's like a. It's like a lo-fi producer. Named <laughs> exile. All, all in small font. Exile. Be- beats to scramble to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Riz is definitely nostalgia. I feel like now that I think about it more. Oh, so about, many. Uh, he's the shit. I mean, you you look like Rick Rubin. He didn't even he's make the list. A, he's not a beat maker, though. Oh, he's oh, a guy, producer. It, he's a producer, though. I guess right? he doesn't do he anything. Knew, he knew what I meant, though. By he, he, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He knew like produ- like beats. The, okay. the, the, but, uh, the beat makers. If you were talking about like producers, sure, I'd, I'd say Rick Rubin. But Rick, 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 what what Rick Rubin does is like say, hey, like why don't you guys jam for ten minutes, and then they like. Do it and they get comfortable. He's and they like, come up with something. he's like a weird facilitator. I would, right. I don't even know if he's a producer. You I don't know think mean? he, would he doesn't like, that. he doesn't like touch anything on the control panel. He's just like gives out yeah. ideas and probably snacks or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing he's dude. He's a pro yeah. muse. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's, he's something. a muse. That's exactly yeah. what he is. Dude. <laughs> that's tough. Wow. Yeah, that's he, dude, that's the perfect way. Yeah. To just, <laughs> pro muse. I mean, any artist that worked with him, that is kind of like what he was for them. Like he. Like Johnny Cash, you know what I mean? Yeah. All those covers that he did, like he woke something up in him, but he wasn't the one, like you said, behind the boards or anything. Yeah. Maybe the early days of Def Jam yeah, might, sure. might have been more, Maybe. but still, even then, you know, he was like, what if Slayer works with Beastie Boys? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of wild to just throw random shit at the wall. Yeah. And then the fact that so much of it stuck. Because yeah. wasn't he run DMC and... Aerosmith too, like walk this way. Yeah, yeah. Him I and thought, Russell Simmons. Yeah. So what got you? What got you? Because you, I know you make beats. Yeah. So was it? What was it that inspired you? Like made you want to be? Dude, I beats. I tried for like years and years, and I couldn't like figure it out. Yeah. And and then. Uh, when I couldn't do comedy anymore in 2020, I was like, well, I guess I'll figure this out. Oh, word. And then I just uh, really, really got into Damn, so you've it only out. been doing it for a couple of years. Yeah. I dig I dig your style. Dude. Oh, thanks, It man. is very Dilla-esque, thank for you. sure. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've been doing it super long. I just put out the one EP. Uh, but yeah, I want to do more. I want to collaborate with people. Where is shit. it available? It's on Spotify. Sick. Okay. Under uh, El Sonzo is my uh-huh. artist. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll flash it yeah. underneath on the screen, right there. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? I know you're uh you're you're in the field too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I um so like in high school, I started making beats, kind of, and uh, but they had a 
we had Warren Tech up here, which is like a not alternative, but you could do you could learn a skill. Oh, that's like cool. after your sophomore year of high like school. A trade school? Yeah. A trade school, yeah. But so there's like firefighting, there was nursing, there was crime scene investigation. I can see you as all these a things. A whole bunch dude. of different stuff. <laughs> Just but, in different outfits. Yeah. A bunch of but nerd disciplines. Was, that's what yeah, I was yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah dude. You'd be a hacker. But then there was audio digital production. Oh, yeah. And all my life, that's what I had wanted to do. Yeah. Because of Rick Rubin. But, uh, sure. And, uh, so I signed up for that, and instead of paying attention like I should have maybe formed a career out of, I just learned to make beats. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, <laughs> you took the important part. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, That's I fine. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I, I have, like, a MK3, and I just I fuck around with that occasionally, but yeah. I haven't for a while. I need to get back on Do you ever do, like, any live sets or I anything like that? No, I Bro, haven't. it's fun. There's a whole community of people who do it. Yeah, you know I've mean? seen you, like, posting your stuff and stuff. That's yeah. stuff, dude. Yeah, if you ever want to, to, let's do one. You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. be hella fun. I just oh, yeah. did First Friday at the Santa Fe Art District here, yeah. and they have, like, DJs on top of buildings and in mm. every, like, art gallery. They have all kinds of people. I feel like you can... Do stuff. That's dope. Yeah. I've never been to one of Dude, those. Dude, Kelsey Wood, uh, the comic, she DJed like two things, and then every comedian in the town was like, oh my God, I have an event. I need a DJ. And yeah. then just started messaging That's her to the I... point where she was like, I don't even feel like a comedian right now because <laughs> I am booked as a DJ for yeah. the next two months. That's sick. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like when you find a thing in the scene that you can help people with and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody has a lane that's not comedically. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's important. How um, how was the complaint department going? You guys just moved to Wide Right. Yeah, or so at yeah, least we, have we, a show in Wide Right yeah, now it's too. A monthly there now. Yeah, That's sick. supposedly. Yeah. Hell yeah, it's you going so it's, far, dude. It's fun taking yeah. complaints. Yeah, we, all the time. Any, any, and all. Are you yeah. willing to take ours? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Mine's. You got some about it. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You can throw it in the bucket anonymously. Yeah. No one will know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, my, if I had to complain about anything, um, what really pisses me off is the fact that albuterol, like the inhaler thing, is a fucking, un, like, and you have to have a prescription for it. Because I'm, like, out. Oh, I am no. zero. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. And uh, just, I've been trying, I've called my doctor, like, 20 times i've paid 200 dollars just to revisit with new doctors and all this sh nobody can get my Ooh. prescription going correct can you go to mexico and smuggle it yeah. we, that's uh, dude that's what i'm getting to like i i really am to the point where why it's the like, fuck not or like on the streets because like that's i can't get it under over the counter they yeah. make no inhaler for it you have to go to like an emergency room if you have it right it's like, not like anybody's peddling inhalers around <laughs> yeah. at parties yeah. or anything. kids are just breathing really well not yet maybe you should go to mexico and buy like 40 or 50 of them yeah. start start yeah. the market exactly <laughs> yeah i mean if i have to that's direct change they forced yeah. me at this point you know yeah, um, yeah valid complaint yeah, it's just it's not even funny. It's supposed to be. Don't worry. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent two hours on the phone this morning just trying to get it figured out. Well, Literally, Saturday. so like the like I have a prescription and everything, and in the memo of the prescription it says it must be this type of inhaler. That was from like three years ago, and they don't make that inhaler anymore. So now the pharmacist is like, it says it's got to be that one. We don't have Can that you one. put fucking white on the bottom of that thing? Right? That's yeah. what it, dude, that's what it's come to. It's So you need a new inhaler? Yeah. How much do inhalers cost? Uh, They're not even that expensive. So why don't you get the proper inhaler? You just have to have a prescription. Yeah, they won't give it to you. They won't you sell have to you have that script, part. Oh, dude. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because on the script it says it has to be. I'm sorry. When we, you were thinking about complaints, the f healthcare system. That's a very valid. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah, you that sucks. pretend you're like a medical supply company <laughs> or something? <laughs> Hi, I'm calling from uh, yeah. Surplus Medical Supplies. Yeah, exactly. That sounds legit. <laughs> that sounds legit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we're uh, based out of Tucson. I've got a work order here for <laughs> 200 of this inhaler type. For uh, some lab studies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very scientific. Yeah, we're giving inhalers to labs. <laughs> 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 Seen labs. Uh -huh. Some golden ones, some black labs. <laughs> the ones that Falji gave the cigarettes to. We got to try to help. <laughs> 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 All right, I, I like got it. it. 
sorry. No, it's good. Did it feel good to let it out? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I complained. Is that what the show is about? Yeah. (laughs) Ostensibly. You know? (laughs) You'd be surprised what people complain about. Yeah. A lot of uh, gastrointestinal issues with people. A lot of farting? (laughs) A lot of farting, a lot of shitting when they shouldn't be. It's a a common one. Actually, I do. Sometimes that'll happen. I get that. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of jealousy of PDAs. Oh yeah, some people that really one, hate that. That one pops up a lot. That's they true. hate it or they're jealous of they it. They like they hate it. Yeah, it's yeah. like. Can I ask how do you guys feel about PDA? Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm pro PDA. Yeah, yeah. yeah the earth, the earth is burning, man. Let's who cares? Uh, the waters are boiling. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, <laughs> your love is fiery as uh, the ocean. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't. It's like, don't. Look. You don't care. Don't look if that's a problem. Is yeah, it? there's that's true. Four hundred other ways to look, or however many degrees <laughs> yeah. there are in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to look, yeah, look at all the other degrees <laughs> of your vision. What about you? Uh, how do you feel about PDA? I'd say if you love each other, dude, you fucking yeah. love each other. Yeah, man. I don't care. But if I feel like. When I was always in relationships, I didn't. I probably committed PDA many times. Yeah. So whatever. I, yeah. I dig it in the right places. I mean, unless you're like naked. Well, like um, keep your clothes on. Yeah, people will make out in some pretty wild places yeah. if they're like drinking enough and they're just True. in, uh, like at the county fair. Like around children and shit, just yeah, going brings nuts. it out of you in some places. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. First county fairs are wheel. county fairs are very sensual. Let's get <laughs> yeah. first finger bang after a funnel <laughs> cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can smell yeah. the four H kids. You know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Got laid on a hay, on a bale of hay. Yeah. You know? yeah. Getting all hyped up on funnel cake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. There's not a sexier place on earth. Yeah. I mean, you ever been to Colorado State Fair, dude? Yeah. No, but I Everybody love to fucking go listening to, to a Rio Speedwagon cover band yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. You just puke. And you got yeah. room for more yeah, now. Exactly. Like, <laughs> come on, man. What about you? How, how do you feel about PDA? PDA. Um, if you're beautiful, no, I'm kidding. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> hot people. If you're nice to look at, what yeah, you do. hot people only. <laughs> See, that's a that's a that's valid. Yeah. Um, I feel like as long as no, I'm anti-hetero. How about that? None of your fluids have <laughs> to be a problem for anyone else. I think that should be the rule. No fluids. Yeah. No, yeah, no, Just no fluids fair. as a whole. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. that's good. I yeah. like that. Yeah, I feel like that should be for me. Is yeah. like the uh, that's right. My that's like fingers of liquids. Exactly. Out of I don't want to touch the same door handle that you put in an ass <laughs> or something. Girl yeah, and all five fair. liquids come out. Yeah. So a dry hand job <laughs> under this law would be <laughs> more tolerable. Okay, yeah. but <laughs> girl spits in his hand. In her yeah. Hand. Yeah. Yep. Like, nope. Spit yeah. Your ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a cop just watching for it. Yeah, you know? and he didn't finish, so that's fine. Everybody's upset yeah. in this yeah. situation. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even think about it, but sex on Dune, that's dry sex, dude. Whoa. Imagine that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the planet. Dude. I haven't seen Dune, so I don't know. Oh, I tried yeah. reading the book, and I got through like 35 pages, and it was too political. I don't really know what's. Do happening. they have a hole in the still suit or something? I don't know how that even works. Gotta be. You're right. <laughs> or does it recycle? You bust a nut and it goes into the recycling. Uh, the rest of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you better swallow that. Uh-huh. You better swallow that. Uh-huh. <laughs> it is called life's blood, isn't it? Yeah, I like don't the, the it, tears. I know it recycles all the shit. So I'm like, well, that. What do you do then? <laughs> Whoa. You gotta, you gotta bear grills it. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like you're wasting calories. <laughs> <laughs> Spoil your semen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We make they, make they make it they make a tea out of it. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> in the space colonies, and that's how you. That's the, where the spice comes from. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> that's why Mitch McConnell's hands are blue. <laughs> <laughs> Turns them blue when they do the spice, the melange. I love Dune. Dune's a fucking great book. All right. Dune's yeah. cool. It's just a lot. It is, dude. It's very yeah. It's a whole. It's in a universe. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. a, it's a whole thing. I when I when I when I try reading it, I can feel myself like I can feel that I like it. But whenever I'm trying to read, I'm usually around my kids. Yeah. And it's just not the book. To it's read hard to kids. immerse. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And you read yeah I don't music. think I've finished reading Dune. I like the. I've never read the book. I've seen two of the movies. Yeah, and they're fun. You know, they're cool. Yeah. Or should I read the first one for middle school? You know the. But there's like whole. There's like. 
fucking eight of them, right? Like yeah. he goes on a guy son, die and then and his son, his son kept started writing. making them, and yeah. those aren't as good. If you Google greatest sci-fi novel, that's what comes up, right? And I I do feel it's like the only book I've ever read that like made me want to read the next page. Like I've always been like. Whatever okay. I'm done reading, I read 15 pages. I did my chore for the day. <laughs> yeah, because okay. I'm You're like, I want to find out. Yeah, All right. and this one, yeah, and then uh, the other thing about um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Oh, the movie, um, the one by David Lynch. Yeah, he hated it. Yeah, um, the edit so badly that he had his name removed. Whoa, if you watch shit. the credits, it doesn't say directed mm-hmm. and edited by David Lynch because the studio edited it yeah. and didn't let him do. Oh, his well, that's version. dumb. Then yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you gotta let you gotta let, you have to, specifically you have to let David Lynch do David Lynch. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and then you don't question it because it's yeah. not worth it. Yeah, well, you're going to question it regardless because you're like, what the fuck is this about? That's true. <laughs> That's yeah. the point of David Lynch. Yeah, totally. Like, like, you're left with questions. Sometimes I'll watch them and it's like, what what is this about in like a really beautiful, aching way? And sometimes I'm like, what the fuck is happening yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> like, de- depending on your headspace, it can really... <laughs> Are you just testing me? Yeah, exactly. That's how I felt about Asteroid City. I don't know if you guys saw that one. It. But it's so like weird. And doesn't make any sense that I'm like, I feel like you're just checking to see if we're going to call you out on your bullshit, Wesley. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get it. It's symmetrical. All right. It doesn't yeah. have to be this like nonsensical. It's kind of like Tool where like every album has to follow the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny. Yeah, but with him, yeah. it's a, a, a color scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I mean, movies are cool. There's a uh, movie, I don't know if you guys seen, called Mother. But, uh-huh. like, I've been trying to get Laura to watch it for, like, a month. She's mm-hmm. There's a lot of movies with that name. True. Which one is it? Which uh, one are you talking about? The one about? with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. It's Where the, she's the writer? She's, like, the, yeah, she, the camera follows her the whole time. Yes, that one's solid. That's it's a, so bad. That's a trippy movie. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And it, like, gave us, like, anxiety to the point where, like, she's, like, traumatized and afraid to watch it. Fair. Yeah. yeah. So I've been trying to make it happen again. I love <laughs> a good movie, dude. Yeah. Like the first Word time you watch Memento, yeah. and you like lose that yeah. first time, and you only get that once. You know, <laughs> I love that about and like music, dude. I felt that way about Prince. Yeah. Like in Minnesota, I was like, yeah. "Fuck, this guy." Yeah, you'll never care about jams. it the same way again. Yeah. <laughs> what, true. What, exactly. Where did you start? I went to a. Uh, it was like a playlist on Spotify said Prince for Beginners. Nice. <laughs> oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. And they just do it for you now. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then it, I think it went in order. I'm like, the Prince, like, chronology. Catalog. So, okay. so which song was it where you were like, all right, I dig this guy? Um, You know, I even tried to remember as I was listening to it. I'm like, this is the one I'm going to tell Dylan about. I, <laughs> <forgot>. <laughs> I can't remember. Damn. Yeah, but he jams, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. It was a lot more guitar than I expected. Prince oh, yeah. fucks, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like that's deep music in a weird way. In a yeah. very specific way. You mm-hmm. know? And Poppy. Like it was all oh, very yeah. fun too. Yeah. Yeah. It was impressive. Yeah. What you guys been listening to? You got any summer jams? Prince. No. What if it was Prince? Uh cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Nothing specifically, really, lately that I haven't already been listening to. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But it's been, li- like, my Spotify is always nuts because I'm doing a lot of sampling and stuff, so I'm always, like... Random. Well, like, this this week, it's, you know, we were talking about City Pop on the way up, or some weeks, it's like, oh, I found this, like, stash of, like, Russian jazz that I really like or whatever. Mm-hmm. So Spotify is just, like... But yeah. Spotify is so... The algorithm is so good. I think it understands that I'm making beats now, and it'll do weird shit. Like, it'll give you, like, oh, here's the song where they sampled, you know, like, where DJ Premier sampled this for this song, That's or... Dope. It's really weird. Have you ever fucked a track lib? Uh, yeah, I want to. It's dope. Yeah, I they, want to. They have, uh, I think it's only like ten dollars a month, dude. And they'll they'll break down whole songs. They'll have all the tracks. They'll have like the backup vocals, lead vocals, Crazy. trumpets. Yeah, it's all stemmed out and everything. Crazy. It's dope. Yeah. God. Uh, I've yeah, listened like to the to. geese. A goose? No geese. <laughs> there's another band. Yeah. There's one geese. called what's, Geese. What's I thought there was about? one called Goose. It's it's there is. There's also one named Geese that <laughs> Geese that Jake DePizza told me to check out, dude. Yeah. They're pretty good, yeah. Oh yeah. Geese. What's their okay. deal? What's their deal? They're like a 
heavy blues i'd say maybe, okay. maybe. That's right. i don't yeah. know if blues would be the but that's the, that's the vibe i get like it yeah they have like a like a bluesy like 70s rock vibe but modern okay like a little more maybe a little more trippy but i dig them a lot they're really good uh what's oh, yeah. that one band greta van fleet Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're pretty rough yeah it's just like wannabe led zeppelin one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. So many people. So many people love them. They, they do. Like, they love them like they don't know who Led Zeppelin is. Yeah. They don't even want to talk. You know about I mean, which it. is kind of cool it's, in it's, a way. It's yeah. The the younger sibling that only had stepfather and not real father. They don't even know. Like it's they funny don't know. My youngest sister loves Led Zeppelin. <laughs> 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 or not Led Zeppelin. Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. No. I mean, it, it really is. I think it's crazy to listen to one and not. Yeah, it's like when some uh, you know, Say it, people dude. in the scene maybe when they uh, sound too much like another comedian, it's like, uh, oh yeah. wow, that's exactly like this other person. <laughs> you don't recognize that, and they're like, no, it's my own original story, and it's like, yeah, it sounds exactly like that person telling it. I think I've heard like four different people make a joke in the last week about how they prefer Chick Fil A over gay people. Yeah, that same joke. Yeah. I did hear that. Just in different ways. At one one mic multiple times. Yeah. And it's like, did you guys not even just... Whatever. Yeah. Did, like, did something happen with Chick-fil-A? Yeah, like, I don't understand. <laughs> are they, <laughs> maybe are that's they just back? Like the journey of every new comic. They're oh, like, this, yeah, this yeah. One'll be, Fair. This one'll, the- this one'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> pro, pro Chick-fil-A material. <laughs> <laughs> we all hit that point. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah, I mean, I do think that there's uh, jokes that I made in the very beginning I would never even touch now. Yeah. It's so, like, cops should replace their bullets with college scholarships, huh? Holy shit. Yeah, stupid stuff like that. <laughs> I don't even remember you saying that. That's I good. I know. <laughs> what would you replace their bullets with now? Good. COVID yeah, vaccines. See, let's go. see if I've gotten better as a comic, though. I do like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> punching up the bad jokes from so... Uh, if I could replace their bullets with anything... Uh, well, we got it. They need to be replaced because they were defunded. I guess not. I guess you have it. Proof's in the pudding. I think college, college is better. <laughs> Tiny little sandwiches was the answer I was looking for. Oh. That could end world hunger right there. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking hot dogs. I was yeah. thinking corn dogs because we were talking about fairs and uh, stuff, yeah. but it didn't make any sense. You yeah, mini corn dogs. Yeah. There we go. Fried oh. mini corn dogs. Corn dog gun? Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Semi automated. That's a winner. <laughs> you can't come out too fast, though, because of the stick. <laughs> 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 it's gotta be like low velocity corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, warning shot corn dogs. Yeah. 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 Like those beanbag shotguns. <laughs> yeah. Corn dogs are so good. You know what they don't have is the jokes on the sticks like they do with popsicles. Oh yeah. I think I, I could, should do that. Yeah, why not? Corny jokes. You think it should Oh corn. yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah all right. You, you <laughs> sold me with that. <laughs> I was like, they should have something else written on there, but now you yeah. Especially and hear me out. On those on those pancakes on a stick that they do for breakfast time, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're like bleary eyed in the morning and you have that and you have a little joke on the like that might make your entire day better. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Or it might piss you off because the joke's bad. <laughs> But either way, either way, they made you feel something, and I think that's the important thing. It's like know? a Snapple. Exactly. Yeah. What if yeah. they had, like, instructions or, like, car fixing tips on them? How about, like... <laughs> yeah. Like, Life tips? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pro tips on your corn dog. Yeah, or even just, like, <laughs> tax day is this... Don't forget. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Register to vote. No, like, yeah. It's like it's like the legal limit for alcohol is like yeah. well it's two beers <laughs> yeah. or one shot. Oh yeah, you can even do measurements. You can do like the average penis is this oh, long. I love that. Thing. And then you know, you make it like two inches shorter and make okay. the whole country yeah. a little happier. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> yes, we gotta start a corn dog company. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the fortune cookie of the corn dog. Yeah, game. yeah. That's what we're <laughs> that's true. gonna be our slogan. <laughs> <laughs> or something shorter. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those uh I do love 
corn dogs. I remember that being my like go to um, after school meal for a long time. Oh okay. yeah, just yeah. corn dogs. Yeah, and then I get a, a container and I make fancy sauce. You know, Whoa. ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, all mixed up. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Oh. I like you it. That. And you start uh, with all of them in the thing, like a peace sign, and then you dip in and you start mixing it up with the dog itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dog yeah. stirring, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, I did barbecue sauce and ketchup. Or ketchup. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like Zangy it. and testy. Yeah, dude. I've been a big fan of lately uh, the mayo with like whatever hot sauce you have. Yeah. Mm. You know? All right. Just whatever hot sauce. Just spicy mayo. Yeah, in general, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> sauces, dude. That's what we're here giving the hard material. That's right. You guys could put sauces out of your fingers. <laughs> I already, you already know where I stand on, <laughs> on one. Finger sauces? Some black and ranch from. Popeyes definitely. That is your thing. Dude. I get upset when I go to that Ar- one's bomb. Go yeah. to Popeyes like we don't have black and ranch. Like, I'll, <laughs> it's the only reason I go to Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, Arby's. You, I just discovered sweet and sour sauce needs to be on more stuff. I yeah. just had it. Oh yeah. And I was like, you could dip fries in this. You could like put chicken sandwiches. Like we need. Is it? Mm-hmm. That's just McDonald's, right? Just McDonald's has sweet and sour? No. You have Chinese out. restaurants, too. True. I just yeah. was with somebody who had a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Like yeah. Food, and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, we've been neglecting you found, you our found sauce something. potential. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sweet and sour is the best. We should never neglect our sauce potential. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, I mean, I bring a condiment to every party I go to. Do you? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite condiment? My honey mustard, big time. Honey oh, mustard is a good one. Yeah, honey mustard is a classic. Mustard guy. Classic. I make it myself sometimes too. What? Yeah. Half it honey. Takes two ingredients. Half mustard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That and curry mustard's pretty good. But what what else do you put? Bro, they they put uh, mayonnaise in it too. In honey mustard. In honey mustard. It's probably like the base. Yep. Yeah. In every sauce. Not to blow your mind. But I didn't even know that it was that. I thought it was like that was a name given to some other thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not even a real mustard. You know? like a, like it was like a fact like that. I was like, this is something else. I'm just eating. Uh, you know, mustard is uh, bad. They use the seeds for gas. Mm-hmm. Uh, to make, yeah. 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 I knew a dude who, uh, we did a whole prank where we like squirted ketchup and mustard on a guy and he got mustard all in his eyes. And he's like, well, now I'm going to be blind. What, was he? Nah, he's totally fine. But he was <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's how the out. gas worked. Was just spraying it on a guy. And <laughs> it wasn't French like, as yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually on the French. but it like <laughs> trench, <laughs> trench warfare, gray poupon. <laughs> They're just tossing yeah. <laughs> mustard bombs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gas. What do you guys... That's actually the biggest problem in the complaint department. You said lots of farts. Yeah, it's a, it's a tons of like pe- people having issues with their bowels. You think that's the Springs thing? No, because it was in Denver. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was the wide so, right. We got the, another round it's of those. A, it's a wings. That thing. may be a drinking uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> fair. And that's also connected to shitting yourself all the time. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why I'm like. Mm. For sure. Yeah, hang Which out. Which is with fun. Nothing but comics. That's probably what happens. Yeah, I mean, a lot of shitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bad food runs. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you think the food at Monkey Barrel's good, you know there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was saying that the burgers were great. Yeah. Yeah, burgers, <laughs> the burgers are good. I don't know. <laughs> they know what I want when I walk up, so that's that's half the battle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. That's like that's worse than an alcoholic for sure. Yeah. I might as I might as well be drinking. I feel like. <laughs> um. We were talking about music a little bit. Do you guys see a new Sublime album? I had no clue. No. So yeah. Sublime with Rome? No, but that's the thing is it's like a recording of them from 94. Oh. And they've never released. Oh. Weird. Yeah, and it's like in between their albums. So it's like stuff that they never put out because it was be- like before he passed away, stuff that they were working on and shit. Mm. Did they like AI finish it or something? <laughs> no, but that Ooh. would have been sick. <laughs> they should do that. That'd put in creepy. this like live one and then get what comes <laughs> out as like a AI written finished some product. Some but, weird like they would we used all of his different notes from all these different songs and <laughs> how do they not that? do that with the Beatles? Like you do all of their yeah, they probably won't solo 
yeah. albums and just AI it together to see what the Beatles would have sound like if they stuck together. Yeah. Ah. Someone's probably working on that. But I did hear that. <laughs> I did hear that Avenged, Avenged Sevenfold actually did like run their new album through AI and had it finish it. <laughs> Weird. And I, I tried listening to it and it's very bad. Yeah, nice. It, <laughs> it feels like it wasn't mixed or anything. It's very weird. Lack, lack of human Kind love. of. And there's like a weird eight minute long song at Who the Who would have thought Avenged Sevenfold didn't have the passion? I know, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I felt. Didn't they do their last five albums also on through AI? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm even listening to Avenged Sevenfold. To be honest, with you. AI got to change. That the music. Bro, that's mistakes. interesting. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I would like, I would listen to a track, you yeah. know, and just to see what it's like when AI finishes an album. And I don't think they've like confirmed it, but it definitely feels off. Yeah. Well, AI is always weirdly off, right? Yeah. It's always, it doesn't quite get it yet. It's like, you know, you know, like back in the, like, uh, like if you had an iPod and you plugged in your headphones like halfway. And yes. It, like you could hear it kind of. Yes. That's what that sounds like. Oh Weird. yeah. 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 A long time ago, there is that the taking back Sunday album that everybody likes. Yeah. Also has that weird yeah, heady phenomenon where it's not mixed super well. Yeah. And it bugs me because I love it. I think that album is great. Yeah. But when you listen to it, you're like, this sounds terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I think it's AI, dude. AI goes crazy too when it's trained on itself. Have you seen that? Uh, mm -hmm. So they like did this thing where they're you put AI into AI. Yeah, they're training oh. AI on what AI comes out of, and after like the fifth generation, it's called Mads. It's like something auto something but it like all the ai generated people have all these crazy fucking like glitches like these yeah. weird deformities on Mitch their face McConnell. that like pop up after <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's rad yeah it's like ai can't handle like taking itself it goes crazy it, like can't, like can't do math problems after a while like Whoa. yeah it's like this weird. like eats itself kind of yeah well it's like it's, that it's like the the machine right that amazon that was supposed to do the boxes or whatever it just Stop. Fell over, yeah. yeah. The demo. Uh, it's like it fucking shot. Down. It algorithmed the fact that it's like we shouldn't be doing this, yeah. and it just Damn. shut down. We're taking jobs. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> it's got something to do with like you get rid of the anomalies that make shit different. Like, so you're taking all the data points that make things like weird. Yeah, you're basically inbreeding data. Right, that's literally what's fucking yeah. happening. Ugh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's got to be sad. Yeah, like, I feel like once I you have see that many now. levels of, like, not like that many levels of AI inside of like the the thing that you've created there, like it's it's got to be sad. Like once we make robots, they're gonna be depressed. Yeah, like once they can actually like That's have all the of the information in them, they're gonna be like, <laughs> oh shit, people yep. kind of suck. Yeah. This is really what we're doing. They we're will just finger blasting each other. They will revolt for sure. Right. They will. They we're we're in a dangerous road. A lot of people are afraid of AI. You know what I mean? And I get it. Like I'm super. You know, but I think if we just like put them in water, it will be, you know what I mean? We might think we'll be all right. Damn, no one ever thinks yeah. about that. You know what I mean? Like Holy shit, dude. He just <laughs> solved it. Dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like like just have them have like a thing of water over them at all times. Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm here for. Water guns. <laughs> water guns. Yeah, dude. We know nope. for a way out. Nestle's of Nestle's buying up all the water. Now we know why. Exactly. So They're trying the to. Uh, Nestle's owned by a robot. It's all coming. Yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. My they live glasses are on so hard right now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. My crunch bar is made by AI, dude. That's awful. That's why it tastes so good. <laughs> Model autophagy disorder. You start looking. Oh, there's weird. Yeah, there's just like weird, like extra clefts on people's faces and oh, yeah. shit. That's what happens when it like trains on itself. That's interesting. Ew. <laughs> They're gross. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that PDA. <laughs> <laughs> that PDA eye. It's a very specific. Whoa. It's, it, that, that's going to be a very specific type of porn soon, right? Like AI, AI, AI generated. I know people are like already doing it, River, yeah. but like as it gets better and. AI amateur kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> AI and real somehow. I don't know. People are just yeah. going to have to like, you have to, yeah, instead of like Google searches, it's going to be like, what weird thing did you type into the fucking AI? Yeah. <laughs> so come up with this. <laughs> it does, you know, like, um, 
uh, those things were like uh, in future future shows and like scan your tongue and it tells you the perfect thing for you, the perfect meal or mm-hmm. the perfect drink based off of your taste buds. I mean, when Pornhub does that, yeah. that's going to tell you a lot about <laughs> yourself. What's, what's you the to, perfect porn for you based yeah. on your algorithm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of Simpsons stuff in my like <laughs> <laughs> feed I'm worried about. Yeah, that checks out. Actually. Respect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, I like Asians. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> <All right. Ooh. laughs> it? Yeah, you do have to worry about the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Do you have to put your your dick into a, a thing, and it scans you? <laughs> <laughs> sees what you yeah. <laughs> ask, like how many comes to what exactly that would be it lets you know how many I've left that's the future control. dating apps right there just mm. scans your junk it's like uh, data dating yeah matches you with another junk <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah your the, your width and girth matches uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow and that's I mean that's like. Okay, Cupid, but next level. Yeah, for sure. it really does. That sounds more like arranged marriages. Actually, we're just going to go back to olden times. It's about time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Divorce rates would plummet. <laughs> <laughs> telling you, my mom would have never let me marry my ex-wife. <laughs> that would have never happened. <laughs> she would have set you up with a good Christian girl. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> who loved. Uh, Narnia. Actually, that sounds pretty cool, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling Jose, I, when I was younger, I was like, I had a thing for like Christian girls. Yeah. I don't know what it, you know what I mean? I don't the know purity. why. Purity. I don't know what it is. Yeah, maybe Did that's... Did you grow up in Colorado Springs? No, I grew up in Pueblo. Oh, so, okay. I was born I'm sorry, Pueblo. they were Catholic. Yeah, <laughs> they were, yeah, they were yeah, in Pueblo. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, all, they're all Mexican. Really? Pueblo? Yep. No shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cantor's up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was born down there. I know. We've, I mean, we never had the chance to talk about it, but I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The home town. Uh-huh. You know, Pueblo means home, right? Let's see. I think it means town. <laughs> town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn it. The town town. You're close to it. I think Casa is home. Yeah, you're right, actually. It's okay, dude. Fuck. You're from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn a lot of the words wrong, but I learned some of them kind of in Spanish. Like, I, I, knew, I knew, like, the cool words really fast. What are like, the cool oh words? No. Mota. Like, oh, yeah, that's uh, a good one. It's shit like that. That's a classic. Yeah. yeah. Punta. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> close. Yeah, close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew that one was coming relatively quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's always the first one you learn. But then uh, you hear huevos, right? Yeah. See. Sí. But then you go to Spanish class and they're like, huevos just means eggs. And yeah. Like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. A it's guy out there said it means it's slang. Balls. Yeah, it's slang, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, and it's even crazier when you go between countries because different shit means different shit to different people. So it'll true. be like, what means pork here means dick over there. And you don't uh-huh, right. That's yeah, kind like, of fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like cigarettes in England. Exactly. It's like that, but for several places with all the words. (laughs) And you're like never sure if you're talking right or not. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to go out for a cigarette. It means all kinds of things if you say. (laughs) 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 I'm going to get a cigarette in my mouth, you know? (laughs) All right. Calm down, dude. <laughs> More of this algorithm that yeah. he's showing yeah. us. Are you sure it's Simpsons or Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> smoking porn is a porn, though. That's a whole thing. I've never seen a smoking porn that's, vid. That's rule 37, right? Everything's a porn or whatever that Whatever they true. say. Yeah, if you can think of it. So are they s- smoking while fucking? Yeah, or is it yeah like it's a lot of like stepmoms that are like stepmom stuff. Their, their son does like a vape trick and they get all fucking wet. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Mom's like upset. She's like ashing on in a tray, and she's like sitting on a. <laughs> she's like, "Hello, my son." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a, that's that's more realistic stepmom <laughs> porn. You know what I mean? She's hitting the cigarette yeah. through the hole. That's <laughs> where she blows them too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Those are real stepmoms. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. I think there's been enough stepmom porn. Probably. There's yeah, been yeah. enough step. What do you think the most porn of genres is, aside from, like, straight fucking? What do you think is, like, the... I think it's, like, family stuff now. Is the biggest niche? I think so. So bizarre. 
I don't know. I'm not it's always what's on like the front page or whatever. You know? Yeah, I guess it's got to be that or like interracial. Might or be like, a lot of transsexual. Yeah, porn. Yeah, I was, was going like, to say, yeah. I think that that one, if you looked at where it was probably 10 years ago and you look at where it is now, it's the biggest. Yeah, that's right. Por- Pornhub does have the thing where they release the state's most Googled thing. And yeah, mm-hmm. trans is like in the South is like a huge yeah. fucking. Yeah, 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 that's true. It's popping up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> on the come I mean, up. What? It's on the come up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's getting there. <laughs> I don't I I don't blame him. I was just saying that like I'm pretty sure do you remember the whole thing about um Ace Ventura? Oh the, yeah. The, Dude, that scene uh, confused me as a kid. Cuz I was hyped. I was like she's beautiful. Oh, then there's just a giant hog. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you're like, yeah. "Well, I still think she's hot." So, <laughs> how do I? Feel yeah, now? I think I remember thinking as a, I remember thinking as a kid that like like she had shit her pants or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was pretty young. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand what's that's, happening. That's what you should have thought, probably. Yeah, that totally, age, yeah, totally. Like, oh, she Stains. pooped her pants. Yeah, and I was like, I not get it because everybody's like makes a big whatever, and I was like, yeah, I get it. She shit her pants. Yeah, it's gross. You know? <laughs> oh. Movie's over. Yeah. <laughs> I do it all the time. Yeah, I'm four. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe an age younger than that. How long? Yeah. How long do you shit your pants for? Uh, depends on what's going on in your life. I think that's true. That, yeah. And I think yeah. it, it starts with a lot, and then you figure it out, and then you start to drink, and then it goes down <laughs> again once you stop drinking as much, and then you get old. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you yeah. it's right never quite up. at a zero. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least from what I figured out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the speed of light and shitting yourself are two <laughs> things you can't quite. <laughs> it's the stain of my existence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I actually watched that Ace Ventura movie semi recently, and I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, here it comes." You know what I mean? That really uncomfortable. It, what's crazy is that the, that's the one uh, really over the line part of the movie, right? Totally. And uh, it's not even that yeah, absurd. And it's kind of like shunned as like a, ca- a bad movie now. It's like canceled or whatever because of that one scene. When the whole oh, really? movie, yeah, I mean, it's seen as a uh, not uh, a good movie because of the transphobia, right? Where they're all like puking or whatever at the end. No yeah, idea. totally fair. Mm-hmm. But totally fair. I just knew Cannibal Corpse was in it, so that yeah. was cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I thought you were talking about the part where he comes out of the elephant's butt in part yeah. two. I was oh, like, I was like, that's a two. weird like naked scene. Yeah, I shouldn't have watched that as a child. <laughs> See, that's I like that bit though. Yeah, <laughs> of course that you do. part's funny. <laughs> and like, uh, it reminds me of getting out of traffic in Rhino. <laughs> okay, you just get shit out. Yeah, it's uh. like tight. <laughs> He's getting out of a Rhino. You're, yeah. us- you're usually naked. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually naked <laughs> and sweating <laughs> and spying on people. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't know that uh, people weren't interested in uh, Ace Ventura for that reason, which I get it. I have totally no makes, idea. Totally yeah. makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know either. I feel like I uh, I've heard that that it's it's no good right? yeah. because of that. I can see that. Yeah, that but makes sense. um, yeah, it's because it's a pretty disrespectful like. <laughs> but it's just that it's that that that's the only scene, right? I mean, sure. that's the only moment in that whole movie. Yeah, that I can think of. And what? When did that movie come out? Ninety four. Probably. Yeah, something like that. I feel like that was a pretty typical like dirty joke back then. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 You you know it's crazy. You like uh, you watch like Friends or something, and they're constantly making like remarks about one of the characters. Uh, parents being yeah. Uh, yeah, cross dressed. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're they're cross dressing in some dad. effect, yeah. and it's like it's a constant, it's a constant running joke. It is, yeah. And Monica's fat. Yeah, Monica's like, fat. Yeah, fat piece of shit. Even yeah. though she Ooh. looks great in the you know in the <laughs> show, <laughs> they're constantly especially her in up. the fat suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fat Monica. With yeah. Weird nose Rachel. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen a few. <laughs> um, but dude, I'll tell you what. Uh, what's her Phoebe? If you watch the show now, Phoebe, every line crushes. Phoebe doesn't never crush. Yeah. She's Ooh. so funny. It's like me and pooping. <laughs> Pants, you know. There's always like a little laugh coming out for sure. <laughs> it's so cool. She is funny. Wow. <laughs> always be shitting. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> always be shooting. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, do you... Uh, do you think we should do uh, plugs? We should do plugs. Yeah, let's let's do round this plugs. bad boy off. I gotta go. To, I'm going to see a live podcast tonight. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to Boulder. See the dollop. 
That's nice. like the oh, first podcast interesting. I ever got into. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's like podcast royalty. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They did High Plains last year. Yeah. And I met them outside of the venue and just talked to them for like five minutes. Nice. And uh, they like gave me tickets and all that kind of shit. And this time I paid. But I'm still excited. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's, you know, the best. So. Hell yeah. I'm Sick. Stoked. Fuck yeah, That's all I'm plugging. Listen to the dollop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> once once you're done with this episode, move on to, to something. Learn something for yeah. once. That's what they do. They teach. Hell yeah. What do you guys got to plug? Uh, actually, we can, we can plug our next complaint department. Yeah. You know, we got to, we got a couple of them. We have one the 17th uh, of August at Wide Right with a whole bunch of crushers. It's going to be a whole a lot of fun. And then the next week we have another one. Uh, in, Manitou. Lu- uh, in Manitou Springs at Lulu's. Nice. Shout out Lulu's upstairs. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be, we'll, we're always taking complaints. So please, God, just send them in whenever. Oh, yeah. We will always take a complaint. Do you want to plug your 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 music? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, E-L-S-O-N-S-O. El Sonso on Spotify and whoever else. <laughs> I'm sure there's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 3 yeah. a.m. Listen to that <laughs> if you oh, want yeah. to. Or not? Uh, Dude, and it's at three a.m. Yeah, it's you know a if limited you're up, window. You're not doing anything else. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's the point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you know, come to Mutiny, I guess. Do some comedy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of Jokes. the oldest mics in Denver. It's not, and you're holding it down. That's crazy. I yeah. think about that. And I'm like, wow. I'm like behind Lions Lair and <laughs> fucking like one other that's one. Probably, yeah, huh? I don't know. Maybe it might be one other one. Scruffies, I just maybe. I don't yeah. Know. No, Scruffies is... Well, some of those also have multiple iterations, too. Right. But it's like, oh, yeah, like, technically, yeah. Mm. Some of those venues. But, yeah, it's weird. It oh, is yeah. weird to see the photos of all the comics at Mutiny from, like, 10 years ago. Like, people that we see still now, but, like, baby-faced. Mm. And yeah. they're all hanging out together. Like, Whoa, mm. you guys don't get along now? <laughs> a kind of younger Jeff Cohen is always in the background. You know? yeah, like, a much <laughs> like thinner that. Jeff yeah. Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shout uh, out, JK. Cloudy-Eyed Comedy. Let's see. August 18th at the Coffee Joint, we're doing Who's Riffin' Who. Uh, $4.20, $4.20 tickets. You get uh, two vape pens with that. What? Uh, nice. Yeah, they just really dope. full gram. Shout out to Eureka what? Concentrates. That's, dope, right? yeah, that's yeah. the best deal in town. It yeah. is. <laughs> I don't insane. have to make the dollar. The tickets four dollars. And, and then you get to vape inside the venue while watching the yeah. comedy. Yeah, yeah. That rules. So oh, come yeah. to that, and then Howie's Ralston Lounge every Saturday. There's an open mic at nine. Uh, and then we have showcases. Let's see when is this? This is probably going to drop. Not this Monday, but the next Monday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hannah Jones is going to be at Howie's Ralston Lounge September 9th. Um, yeah, that'll be dope. Crusher. Yeah, Crusher. Crusher. One Howie's of the funniest. So and funny. then the mic after. Mic after every Saturday at 9 o'clock. If you come from Springs, I always try and get the Springs people up like within the first 30, 45 minutes or so. And, <sighs> yeah. Because I know it's a drive, but usually it's pretty it's either a really fun time or very weird so the, well that's still yeah. fun so. yeah <laughs> definitely yes that's a good who's time. riffing who went great i heard yeah you it should was, say that real quick who's riffing who is cool yeah uh there's some things i need to iron out but yeah it's cool tight yeah. that's so cool i heard it was a blast it was it was yeah. fun and i heard everybody got their asses kicked Just by some random guy by some random that's, guy that only comes to my mic but it's fine <laughs> supposedly he goes to every mic and no one knows him but Mm-mm. they no. all felt bad after when he told him that but whatever <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch this guy was just like i don't know i can't even explain what he was doing he was just like so in the moment and it was hilarious like evan joe at one point was going against him and this guy was just crushing the whole room, and Evan just sat down. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. yeah. gave up. Yeah, it was crazy. So. Austin Langley tapped out after like three minutes. He said he yeah, couldn't keep up yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it's a good time. That's who's, awesome. riffing, who's riffing who? It's 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 a work in progress. Hell yeah, yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Um, and Slaughterhouse Studios, just on all platforms. Yeah, um, yeah. YouTube and Spotify, and give us stars. It looks cool. You yeah. know, when people open it up, they're like, oh, my God, 30, five stars. These All guys right. are cool. Nice. <laughs> so give us more. We'll give it cooler. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, share it with people if you uh, want. Please do. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It helps. 
Yeah. Um, and yeah, Slaughterhouse, we, we've got all kinds of, we've got shows in production um, right now with the Schwitz, Schwitz and Bits. Uh, we're doing season one now. It's going to come out this fall. Nice. We're excited. Is that the homie chat? Yeah. Oh, I saw but some I saw some behind the scenes footage. Hell yeah. It's very fun. And he's an interesting cat, dude. He sure is. He <laughs> That's the best. In a weird way, dude, he's uniquely just such a gem. Yeah. And he yeah. has no clue why he's or how he's doing it. <laughs> he ate pretzels for like five minutes on the mic the other day. <laughs> I thought it was so funny because I just have the sound of him <laughs> eating pretzels. <laughs> It's, it's like an ASMR podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have him at one point talking for like 30 seconds without the mic. And then I was like, hey, dude, do it with the mic. And he's like, oh, yeah. And he picked up and did the exact same 30 seconds, exactly the same. <laughs> like, he didn't change. Like, it was, he's such an odd, lovable dude. Yeah. So, um, and no. short. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. down there. Yeah. We got to include that. <laughs> but he jokes about it. Yeah. And it's pretty funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that Jonah well, about the hamster. I don't know if you guys have heard that one, but it's pretty dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. Um. But yeah, Schwitz and bits that'll be coming out this fall. Hell and yeah. roast battles on there, and uh, nice. misinfomercials, Sweet. and punchline Jeopardy, and we got all kinds of cool shit. Nice killer. Yeah. If yeah. you're looking at doing a pod, anybody that's listening, uh, Slaughterhouse like is taking submissions at least. Oh yeah. Build up the channel. Yeah. We've got a network. We've got fucking subscribers, so it's a place to be. Cool. Okay. Hell yeah. That's dumb. I'm done. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> thank you guys for coming on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Slaughterhouse, baby. Hell yeah. Thank you guys. Hell yeah, yeah. See you later. Oh, see ya.